Hi. A lot of people in the Eris community want to know how the heck do you make a private server? So I'm making this series that I'll probably post on YouTube sooner rather than later that'll explain, well, how do you do it as well as like many other things. So to get started, you're going to want to go to glitch.com slash tilde eris dash template and it'll take you to this to this website. Now, if you don't have an account already, you're going to want one right there. You'll see I'm signed in and stuff, but up there's going to be something to like log in and create an account, probably. Uh, if not, it should be somewhere on this page. So if you haven't created an account, you want to. So that way your project doesn't get deleted once you uh, stop working on it. And once you get signed in, you want to go to this page and you want to find Remix Your Own. So once you do that, it's going to launch you into the editor of your own version of the of the glitch project. And I currently have like very slow Wi-Fi right now, so it's gonna take it's gonna take a pretty long time for this to load, probably. So uh, I'll cut to when it actually does. Okay, so when you get started, you're gonna, it's gonna be kind of, if you haven't seen Glitch before, it's gonna be kind of like a sensory overload. You, you're probably not gonna understand a lot of things you're seeing here, and that's not a big deal. So what you wanna do is this window on the right, you don't need it. Just go to the three dots and click close preview, you're not gonna be using it for this part. And, uh, this is the file you start with, the readme. It kind of, it explains how to add some things to your private server link that'll show up on the actual website as certain things. You don't need to pay attention to stuff like this right now. You know, like, breaking changes, this also doesn't really, this goes into stuff about the change log, but since I've, uh, since I just remixed this, it's the newest version, and, uh, it hasn't updated since about late 2022 anyways, so it's not really a big deal. And when you open lib, you're going to see a bunch of different things. So, util, random, hshg, and, and fast talk, you're not going to be in those very much. Definitions is where you're going to spend like 99.9% .9 of your private server development working on. First thing I want to do here is click prettier. So Glitch has this cool thing where it'll format certain files to look better. I would I would strongly suggest doing this because it makes the well it makes it look a lot less like it makes it look a bit more cluttered. It's it, it gets easier for me to read. The more you look into it the more like the better you understand JavaScript the better it is going it's it is to read it. So normally this would be like kind of a, it'd be kind of weird looking. Like, let me undo that format. This is what it looks like normally. So, yeah. Uh, okay. So once you, this is the basic private server as it, as it stands now. If you're on the screen, you're doing everything right. I'm I'm gonna explain what some of these files do so you understand how it all works. Fast talk I think is like the I don't know exactly, but I think it's like how the uh, server itself works, like how it's like a functional online thing. This hierarchical space spatial hash grid. I haven't fully under I don't fully understand it, but uh, I think this is for like positioning and stuff. Random is obviously for like randomizing functions. Mainly, you would be messing with like the choose bot name and choose boss name functions here. I'll talk about those later. Uh, util. I have not looked at this at all. So yeah. Change log is not necessary. You can honestly just go ahead and delete that. That's fine. Uh, readme is necessary for later, so I'll keep that. 
config. Very much necessary if you want to, like, really start developing your server. Uh, package. I don't know exactly what this does, but I know it's important to keep this. And then server. This is a huge file that runs literally everything in the server. So, like, there are thousands of lines of code that are gonna... that work just about everything in the server for one way or another. Whether it's, like, the kill announcements, the way polygons spawn, the way names are drawn on the screen, everything. So, yeah. Tons of code there, uh... That's really all you need to know for this, because this is really just going to be you getting getting the thing set up for when you want to make changes. I'll show you what it looks like in the next episode. So, see ya.